In this session, we will be discussing about thermodynamics. So in thermodynamics, we will yet be introduced to different parameters. And one of them is the entropy or symbolized as S. For short, entropy is actually a degree of randomness. And the higher the value of the entropy is, the higher the degree of randomness of an element in a certain state. Now we could predict for reactions that involves, for instance, solid and liquid, and this reaction produces something that is in gaseous phase, we call that this reaction having the change in entropy of larger than zero. Because the randomness of the phases goes solid, the smallest, liquid, the middle, and gas is the most random state among the other phases. If we have all gaseous reactions, for instance, 2A gas plus B gas, now forming 2C gas, plus 2D gas. We can refer to the coefficients as the number of the gases. So from here, we know that we have three gas in the reactants, 2A and 1B. And on the other hand, we have four gases in the products, so 2C and 2D. So in this case, we can also say that the entropy or the degree of randomness also bigger than zero in the change. So from here, we can infer just based on the reactions and the phases, whether a reaction increases in entropy or decreases in entropy. The second law of thermodynamics states that the change of entropy in the universe is bigger than zero. So we can say that the universe tends to become more random spontaneously. The change in entropy of the universe is equal to the change of entropy in the system plus the change of entropy in the surrounding. We can calculate the change of entropy in the surrounding as the heat of the surrounding divided by the temperature where the reaction occurs and if this is such a reaction that occurs in a constant pressure we can tell that the q of the surrounding is actually minus q of the system which is normally a reaction and if this occurs at constant pressure then this is the same with the minus delta h of the system so we can say that delta S of the surrounding is equal to the minus delta H of the system divided by the temperature. So now that we found the expression for the delta S of the surrounding, we can express this equation all in the system. So we can write it down as delta S of the universe or US is equal to the delta S of the system minus delta H of the system divided by the temperature, normally in Kelvin. And this will be spontaneous if the entire delta S or the delta S of the universe is bigger than zero. So we can also say that we will have a spontaneous process if delta S of the system minus delta H of the system divided by T is bigger than zero. Later on, we will be introduced to another term, which is the delta G or the free energy of Gibbs or Gibbs uh, free energy. 
And this is the degree of the spontaneity.